hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is Osereme. if today is your first time seeing me thank you so much for being here in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i recreated this beautiful dress as seen on vicky james and you can see how my recreation looked on me in the video i have in the middle so if you're interested in knowing how i went about the cutting and stitching of this particular dress keep on watching and let's get started So guys, to make this dress, you will need two different colors of fabric. I decided to just go with the same colors on the dress that Vicky James made. Now, for the orange, I was able to get scuba. So I'm using scuba for the orange part. I wanted to also get scuba for the other part, color, but I wasn't able to get scuba. So I got crepe instead. So you can see that this crepe fabric is not as stretchy as the scuba. So for the crepe fabric, the pink, I had about two yards. And for the orange, I had one and a half yard. So now I'm going to go ahead and fold the orange fabric into two. This is going to be the body of the dress. And I'm folding the most stretching part into two so that I don't have to bother myself with zipper for this dress since it's very stretchy. So now I'm going ahead to pin down the areas I have folded. I am going to take the top of this fold as the starting line. So I will extend my tape by 5 inches before I start taking any measurement. This 5 inches is for my strap so from the extension i did i measured down to 10 inches for my shoulder to bust measurement still extending the tape by 5 inches i'm going to measure down to my shoulder to waist measurement which is 15 and a half i'm also going to do the same thing for my hip line so i'll extend the tape and my shoulder to hip is 22 and a half and i'm going to also draw a straight line across this point now the last thing is for me to get the length of the full dress so I still extended my tape by 5 inches and I'm going to take it down to the length I want the dress to be which I marked here at 56 inches so that by the time I'm done folding the end it will fall down to 54 which is exactly what I want it to be. So now we're going to add our body measurements. On the starting line here I'm going to go in by 3.5 inch for my neck width and i'll come down by three inches so i'm going to connect these two points together to give me my neckline next i'm going to get my armhole depth so i will extend the tape by five inches again and mark my depth at seven inches my armhole depth is seven inches and the calculation for this is on the screen so from the seven inches point i just connected a slant to meet the neckline area now on the bust line i'll divide my bust measurement by four and make a mark here I am not going to be adding any stitching allowance to this because of the fabric it stretches but if you are working with a fabric that does not stretch you will need to add stitching allowance so i connected from the bust line to meet the armhole now on the waistline i'll go ahead and divide my waist measurement by four and also make a mark here i am not going to be adding any darts to the waist so i'll just use my waist measurement divided by four no allowances or anything and i'll connect it to meet the bust so now on the hip line, I will divide my hip measurement by 4 as well and I will make a mark here. Then I will connect from the hip line to meet the waist. Please notice how I place my core for the hip. Now I'm going to connect from the hip all the way to the hemline. Now on the hemline, I decided to remove 1 inch from my hip measurement and I marked it here. So I'm going to connect from this place now to meet the hem. So we are done drafting out the body of the dress. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out now on the neckline armhole and on the side as well let me take you back to a time when, time when love was as precious as diamonds so guys this is what my dress is looking like so far this is one of it i'm going to cut out another one exactly like this so i've cut out the other piece which i'm going to be using for the back you will notice that i didn't add any zipper allowance or anything to the back because like i said this fabric is stretchy and i don't intend to put a zipper but if you want to put a zipper to yours it means that for the back you need to have a zipper allowance or you just place the zipper on the side now on the front pattern i decided to extend the waistline to meet the other side of the waist this is because i need to cut off the area where i am going to be replacing with a pink fabric so i want the pink to be on the right side of my breast which is this side i'm working on right now so from the waist i am connecting a slant to meet the neckline just like i've done here so from the waist connect a slant to meet the neckline and we are going to be cutting off this other side this part i'm going to be cutting off is on the right side of my fabric okay i made sure to check it on my body to be sure that this is the right side 
so now i've cut it off and i'm going to be replacing this part with my pink fabric so now i have my pink fabric here folded into two i ironed the area that i wanted to use and i'm going ahead to place the orange on it i am going to be adding stitching allowance to this orange piece when i'm cutting out on the pink i'll be adding half an inch now on the side of this orange piece i marked two double lines and on this area that is going to be on my neckline i marked one line so that i'll be very sure because the way it's looking like this you can barely tell which side is going to which side so now i know that the double line is going towards the side so now you can see how i place it here on the neckline I added half an inch stitching allowances all the way around. So now I'll use this pink to replace the orange. But first, for the neckline of the orange, I'm going to go ahead and start from half of the neckline here. And I'm going to start pinning it all the way around. I'm going to just be making a stitch to secure the neckline of this orange part because there is no lining here and also i didn't want to cut out a facing because this neckline area is actually going to be covered by the pink ruffles later okay so now i went ahead to also fold the armhole area of the orange piece as well so i'll go back to the sewing machine now and make a stitch to secure this place so guys i'm done stitching it down and i've turned it over to the right side now this is what it is looking like so now we are going to be placing the pink on this side so i also went ahead to stitch down my straps so i just stitched it from the inside and turned it over to the right side with my pen and i'm going to be using it for the straps for the both sides so for the orange part i'm just going to pin it down here but for the pink part i'm going to be stitching it on the inside but first we are going to join the sides of the orange with the pink so i'm going to place the orange in between the pink so here and here like this so the pink will be on both sides while the orange is going to be in the middle make sure you extend the pink fabric by half an inch at the top because you need it to stitch the neckline so after extending it i place the orange pin in between and i'm just going ahead to pin this down all the way to the end so now when you're done pinning this center this is what you will have you can see we have successfully joined this area together i will stitch it down the sewing machine later but also for the neckline the half an inch stitching allowances you left at the top we are also going to use it to stitch it down but first i'll place my strap in between the two pink pieces and i'm going to go ahead and pin it down here now after pinning it down here i'm going to continue to pin it on the neckline just like you see me doing like this and also after pinning down the neckline i'm going to pin down the armhole area here please note that i'm doing all of this from inside so that by the time i turn this over to the right side it will look very neat so once you're done pinning it down we are going to head over to the sewing machine I make a stitch all the way around here around the neckline here and around the armhole so guys after i was done stitching it all down and turning everything over to the right side you can see what it looks like and you can also see how the back is looking neat so now let's go ahead and work on the ruffle so guys this is the piece i intend to use for the ruffle and i've already cut it out and folded it all the way around all the four edges now i'm going to show you guys the dimensions i used now for the length of this ruffle that's a longer part i had a full tape and about three inches extra and then for the other length i had about nine inches this nine inches is after i've stitched it down on both sides right so when you're cutting it out it should be about ten and a half inches next i divided this whole fabric into three and i made a stitch so it's divided unequally so i made a stitch on one point here this is like dividing the length of the fabric the shorter length of the fabric into three and i made a gather stitch there so that way i'll be able to pull on this gather to give me the effect that i want so the way i did this like this is for it to look like i have two layers of gathers that was why i made one side longer than the other when i was stitching down my gather stitch so once you're through with this go ahead and pull on the gathers like i'm doing now and when you're done it will look as if you have Two different layers of gathers like this okay so this is what it should look like so now we are going to be placing this around the neckline of our dress so guys you can already tell where exactly we are going to be placing this ruffle 
so i'll extend the ruffle into the the strap of the orange part so just like i'm doing here i'll extend it about four inches above the strap and i'm going to open it up here like this so open it into two like this just open it and place the area where you had your gather stitch exactly on the edge of your strap so i'm going to go ahead and pin it down like this and i'm going to continue to do this so i'll just pin it on the straps and continue to place it exactly on the line where i had the joining for the orange and pink fabric so make sure you're doing it very close to the edge so that when you put on this dress the orange part of the fabric is not showing at the top okay so you can see me pinning it all the way around make sure to open it up like i'm doing place it very close to the edge and then go ahead and pin it down so guys i'm almost done pinning it down now and on the waist area i make sure that the ruffle doesn't get to the waist exactly because we need to be able to stitch the front and back together so that the ruffles is not on the way so guys once you're done pinning everything down you're going to head over to the sewing machine and make a top stitch following all the areas that you have pinned down make sure to open it into two when you're making your stitch so after i was done this is what i had so when i allow the upper part to fall down as well it looks as if i have double layers of pleats so this is what it's looking like so far now for the back i just went ahead to stitch the neckline and the armhole just like i did on the orange area of the front earlier so after doing that i am just going to go ahead and pin down the sides of both the front and the back so that i'll go ahead and stitch it down on the sewing machine i'm guessing you're wondering ah remember you're not going to put a zipper on this thing like i said this fabric is very stretchy and i do not intend to place a zipper but if you want to place a zipper on yours you can place it on one of the sides or you make room for zipper allowance at the back when you are cutting out the back pattern so now once you're done pinning down the sides you're just going to head over to the sewing machine and stitch it down on both sides so i'll be stitching it down on both sides with about half an inch after i was done stitching it down this is what i had i decided not to give myself any side slit also for the strap area i had to put it on my body put this dress on my body and my brother helped me pin down the strap on the back so that it fits exactly after he pinned it down i went ahead to make a top stitch on the strap at the back and this is what i had so the last thing i'm going to do now is to just finish up this end and you can see how it stretches so i'll finish up this end and that is all for the making of this dress